Well, let's start by taking a look at these two castles over here. We have, on our left, Castle A. Now yeah, point oh, up, can you point up the floor in this design? Well, it's very defensible. This actually is rather not a very good strategy, you see, because we have first the land bridge, which uh, cannot be destroyed. The moat certainly uh, prevents large-scale infantry attack, but however, a good, in, a good army equipped with siege engines would do thus. Simply by coming over to this side here, with a large siege tower. Now we get to the end, it'll narrow the drawbridge in the siege tower and all the infantry just run across and take over all the castles which are under a little bit of fire but the siege engines would protect them mostly from the arrows. And an army would scoop out the moat, pile it into a big pile here, creating this steep wall. Now we have the same situation where the siege engine comes on and low as a drawbridge, they've got this incredibly steep rise to try and climb up and all these little archer crabs here shoot down and they'd be most unprotected. Go, 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 go. So the only real way is through a uh, frontal assault. And what about from the sides? From the sides we have a wooden defence so that yet again when the siege engine comes up and tries to lay its drawbridge or ladders across they then have this very nasty fence to try and get past and archers again would just have no trouble picking them off whatsoever. So the really only way to get here is either try and fill in the moat and cut down the, the fence yes. or try and break through and up into this line here. Now, yes. now upon attacking from the front got this rather quickly constructed fortress which would have been a bridge or a drawbridge of some kind possibly yes. activating this to pull it up, right. put it down. We have archers in the towers here. And so long as the army could actually come through and destroy the towers, right. then you have to make sure the bridge is intact. Quite impressed with this, uh, And this then go here. through a secondary gate, yes. which could easily be closed. Now, if they made it through the secondary gate, we've got this very narrow, walled-in pass of which when fired upon from archers, leaves them really nowhere to go, no cover whatsoever. Then they've got to get up this, again, very steep rise, giving a infantry assault or cavalry assault down here an extreme advantage. And you can see these poor chappies here didn't survive too well. <laughs> now at the top here, we've got our gate, the final gate. And this is really the top perimeter defense structure, which has been leveled off. A keep in the center, the final point of defense. Right. Now anyone trying to get up through here, there'd be not many left of them, and a fairly sturdy defense, which is why the most modern castles were based on this very simple fort, mot and bailey idea.